Hey guys, it's Trey back again with another video. And in the last video, I showed you guys how to get your database set up to store user credentials. And I also showed you guys how to get your express server set up so that we can get a register function written today. Um, so in today's video, I want to show you guys basically how to set up your MySQL connection pool. All right. So we're going to do that and then we'll get into the register function. So if you remember, we had some uh, information set up. So we're going to need this database name. We're going to need uh, this user, not that one. We're going to need this username. So we create this user. We're going to need this user's password. Um, yeah, stuff like that so that we are able to connect to our database. Okay. So the way we'll do this is the first thing we want to do is get this information into our .env file because this is where we want to store all that sensitive information that we don't want people to know. So the first thing we're going to want to set up here in our env file is our host. So this is basically uh, where our um, MySQL instance, our server instance is. So we'll do localhost and then we're going to want to have our database name which was auth and then we're going to want to have our user which is auth user and then we're going to, want to have a have the password for this auth user so if we go back to our stuff here we're going to copy this password so whatever you put for this password that's the one you're going to need here so we're going to go back we're going to paste this in and then we'll save it and there we go the last thing we're going to want to do is have a connection limit i will explain this connection limit when we get to it but basically this is just um how many connections we allow to the database at one time all right so now we can go back to our off.js and then we're going to set up our mysql here so we're going to connect to it here we're going to set up our connections so we can get rid of that whole hello world thing don't need that anymore and then we're going to uh, import our MySQL2 package. So we're going to say require MySQL2. Here we go. I'm going to erase the two from the variable name here. All right, let's go down. And now we want to create our connection. So remember I told you uh, we use that connection limit. This is where that's going to come into play because we're going to create a pool of connections that we can use whenever somebody hits our server, uh, hits one of our endpoints. Okay. So that's why we uh, we needed that. So we're going to say const pool is going to equal mysql dot create pool. So this is a function and we're going to pass in some configuration items here. So I'm going to create an object and then we're going to pass in uh, the configuration, which is basically all of this information. OK, so the way we'll do this is we will say host and then we're going to do process dot env dot host and then we're going to do database which will be process dot env dot database and then we'll do user oops user and it'll be process dot env dot user and then password process dot env dot password and then connection limit, all right? And then we'll do process.env.connection limit. All right, so this is gonna set up our uh, MySQL pool, okay? So anytime we wanna make a query to our database, we wanna use this pool object here, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is set up the skeleton for our register function. So basically this endpoint that we're gonna hit in order to register um, a user. So what we'll do is we're going to say router dot post. So we're going to uh, make a post to our router um, so that we can pass information with it in the uh, request body. OK, so we're going to call this uh, slash register. OK, and then inside of here, you know, we're going to need our request and our response. And then 
this is pretty much the setup for our register function so I think I'm gonna split this video in the register video um, into separate videos because that register function is gonna take a little bit to write and it's gonna uh, require a lot of explanation so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna also set up the skeleton for our login function so login and it'll also be your request response and there we go so these are going to be our two endpoints that we're going to have for our server so you can register a user and you can uh, log in a user okay um, in the next video we're going to go ahead and uh, do this register function so um, I'll be explaining I'll be walking through every step of what we're doing and why we're doing it and it's just going to be a basic register function it's going to uh, take in a request from a user with a username and password and then we're going to um, take that information and store it in the user table and then also in the user off table with a hashed password okay so I'm gonna stop this one here um, yep and then in the next video we'll get into that so thanks for watching like and subscribe to the channel and all that jazz and I will see you guys in the next video